Hello and welcome back to more 3D Dot Game Heroes. It's boss fight time. We're of course taking on the dragon from the fire temple. Well, I guess we're calling it the flame temple. So that's going to start off today's video. If you missed our last video, we took on the boss of the aqua temple as well as the boss of the desert temple. So, once we finish this off, we're going to be taking on the Wind Temple section of this final tower. I'm hoping I can get that boss fight in today's video as well, so look forward to that one. Should be an exciting video today. We're getting dangerously close to the end of this game now. I'm assuming once we take on the boss to the... Uh, the Wind Temple will be going right into the final sequence of this game and the final boss fight and ending. So we maybe have today's video and maybe one more and that'll be the end of this game. This guy is so dangerous. The, the shockwave with him trying to land on us is so hard to avoid. Once we lost our big sword, this fight got so much tougher. Just trying to like stay out of his way and hit him from the side, but he's still managing to do damage on us. It's funny, he's a dragon and the fire breath is like the least dangerous part of this boss. It's the shockwave from him trying to land on us. Okay, we're gonna have to use a potion. He's damaging us a little too much. We seem to avoid his fire breath just fine. It's the uh, avoiding him landing on us in shockwave. But with all the potions we have, we should have no problem getting past him. And of course, there's one of those warp zones right by the entrance to this boss fight. So we can always warp out after and refill all our potions kind of the strat to this uh, final tower. I couldn't imagine doing this with no potion all in one run, fighting all six bosses. This must be like kind of a tough game to speed run. Would be cool to one day see this game get more love though. It'd be cool to see like a randomizer get made for this game in the future. See people doing runs of that. Okay, he can't have that much health left. We've been hitting him for so long. Just die already, dragon. We got him. Alright, that concludes the Flame Temple section of the Dark Tower. We're going to be moving on to the Sky Temple now. As usual, we just need to find the boss key there, and then we'll be through that section. Uh, just kind of like smashing some pots, trying to fill my health back up before we move on. Do not want to enter the next section of this temple with like two hearts. That would be uh, not a smart idea. I mean, we could do this for longer, but I think we're close enough that we can just move on. Yeah, it doesn't want to give me any more health anyway. Just giving me magic and arrows at this point, so let's just go on with the Sky Temple. This is definitely going to be probably the biggest section of this dungeon. Hoping I can squeeze it all in and get the boss fight today without being too long of a video. If there's some like repetitive sections, I might just edit it out. So it would be nice to keep these into like some cohesive bite-sized videos.
Alright, not bad, considering how many enemies were in there shooting things at us. Let's get our, uh, wire rod out so we can stun this guy. Don't want him turning around and clubbing us. Yeah, once in a while those, like, max sword power-ups have come in clutch for us. Yeah, I didn't like the placement of that enemy. He was about to hit us. Definitely want to take out some of these guys if I can before we go into this puzzle. That's better. And we're back to full health. Okay, I can only really block the wind from one side, so we're kind of getting pushed between the into the wall between each round of the wind blowing. There we go. That wasn't too bad of a puzzle to get through. This, however, doesn't look fun. Do we spend the freezing magic? Have to really manage the amount of magic I'm spending in this final area. Now I really can't see which blocks to push because they're frozen. Might have to wait for the room to thaw out to see where we're going. I'm guessing we want to drop down. I don't seem to be able to open that red door from here. I think if that's a door we come back through and it's kind of one way. Hoping some of these rooms I'm dropping down into aren't going to be just like dead end trap rooms. Yeah, taking out the bats is fine. I, I wish I could knock this guy off a ledge. There we go. That's much better. So I gotta block the wind so I can shoot all of these targets, or at least the proper target. I'm sure if I use parallax, it'll tell me which one to hit. Okay, we only have to hit the bottom one. That's not too bad. Alright, we got a key. Not the key I want, but we got a key. Yeah, if I can manage to keep my power up, we'll be uh, flying through this section of the dungeon. Just excited to see what the uh, final boss fight's gonna look like. I know for sure we're gonna have to fight the Dark Bishop using that power they gave us that allows us to find his real form and damage him. I couldn't see them giving us that power if it wasn't for that fight.
Uh, I've been trying to decide what to play when we do finish this game. Uh, at the time of recording, I'm downloading two separate games. So the options I've been going with are um, Atomic Heart looks cool. Really like the kind of the world that they created for that game. Even though it does look a little glitchy. Um, also been thinking of playing Fist. That game looks pretty cool. Haven't done like a Metroidvania on this channel at all yet. Kind of thought of playing like Super Metroid on the channel at one point. But I don't know how many people would be interested in watching a game that's, you know, 30 something years old already. So I figured I'd maybe pick out a newer Metroidvania to kind of check out. And I haven't played Fist yet, so it looks pretty cool. To let me know in the comments if you think one of those games would be better than the other. I'm sure I'll end up playing them both at some point. Seems lately like every game kind of comes with a catch, like it's glitchy or unfinished or something ain't right. There hasn't been too many games that have come out and it's like, I have to play that and it's absolutely the right game. It's been a tough choice lately. I mean, the only game that's kind of looked like a clear winner this year has been the Dead Space Remix, or Remake. I mentioned this earlier, but a lot of games that have come out, like Evil West and Forspoken, and some of those games just haven't really caught my eye. Like, some of them look impressive graphically, but like the gameplay just looks a little rough. Okay, we seem to be getting through this pretty easily so far. It's not that challenging, it's just big. It's easy to get lost with such a massive dungeon. I don't even know if I'm going the right way right now. I might be lost. Ah, oh, this room seems tough, too. We need to take out the bats, use a reflect, and hit that target with an arrow. Okay, all the enemies are gone. Just need to, uh, keep reflect on and manage to hit that target now. There we go. Oh, we're dropping down to another lower floor. This place is... Like, it didn't seem that huge, but there's floors that are part of other temples that we have to keep dropping down to. And now that I lost my, uh... big sword, fighting that guy seems like a huge pain. Kind of stuck with uh, the enemy placement here. I can't go out to reset it because we dropped down to get in here. We're already kind of stuck with the smaller sword. Hoping I can get that heart back. Yeah, I don't like where this guy is. Little room for error fighting him. All right, where are we going? Are we dropping down another floor? Looks like. Ah, I was really hoping it would give us another heart there. Yeah, see, we're on the fire floor of this temple right now. Which means we're dropping down to like the water level of this temple. 
And then we're gonna have to come back up once we find whatever's down here. Hopefully it's the boss key. Alright, we're back to full health. Yeah, we're on the the water level of the temple. I need to get reflect on and really need to avoid that gravity enemy. I don't want to get pulled in by that. Coming off to the side seems like the easiest way to get rid of those mages. Now once this guy disappears, we'll make a run for that bottom door. That room was dangerous. Where did they go? Alright, we got the boss key. We can try and find the boss room and finish this up now. Well, they at least gave us back some magic we were missing. Okay, we need to go back up several floors to get back to the level of this tower we were on to begin with. Yeah, I did not want to fight these guys with the open pit in the room and these wind things blowing us around. Freezing them just seemed like the easier way out. Nice, back to full health. We're not doing too badly on magic either. We're in a good position to take on this boss at least. Have we even seen the boss room yet? I don't remember seeing it, but maybe, maybe I've passed by it. To slowly go through here again. All right, we're free. Sure, there's a faster way to get through that, but I am taking no risks while we're at full health headed towards the boss. It looks like the boss room is like right off of the like first room we entered into. It's kind of near the start of this floor. Am I going the right way? No, I am not. We need to go down. Yeah, I do not want to fall down there. Not trying to go back to the basement of this temple.
Yeah, let's throw down a save before we, uh... Go into this boss fight. I'll be saving a lot towards the end of this game here. Alright, here we go. So I remember the boss for this temple was the Dark Knight. Just throw down a save and we'll get on with this. We have enough magic health and health potions that we shouldn't have any problem here. Just trying to figure out what powers I want to have pre-equipped going into this fight. Maybe bombs. I don't think we can do much with like reflect or anything like that. Would have been cool if they kept, like, the boss intros to each fight. You kind of just walk in and they're ready to fight already. There isn't that cool, like, little cutscene before the boss fight that they had at each individual temple. Okay, hopefully this guy won't give us too hard of a time. We just have to get behind him and stab him with the sword. It's his teleporting ability that kind of catches us off guard. Trying to avoid that sword beam is tough too. That's right, you're the last guy standing between us and the final showdown of this game. Seem to actually be doing pretty well against him so far. Of course, now that I say that, things are going to go disastrously wrong. Alright, he's in kind of his final stages. We got him here. Whoa, was not expecting the spin attack. Nice, we got him. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. So come back and see the ending of this game next time on 3D.GameHeroes. Thanks for watching and bye for now.